Welcome to today's discussion. Today we are going through form 2 chemistry that is a solvay process flowchart. And the question we have reads the flowchart below shows the manufacture of sodium carbonate. And we know sodium carbonate that is Na2CO3 is formed through or is manufactured through solvay process. Study it carefully and answer the questions that follow. We have ammonia coming into the chamber containing brine to form ammonical brine and ammonical brine is a mixture of ammonia and concentrated sodium chloride. So the two are getting into the solvay tower where carbon 4 oxide is getting into from point P. Then of course P is being heated here to produce sodium carbonate that is coming down. And uh, of course we have several steps that we are going to analyze by answering the questions. Now we are going to begin by answering the first question and the first question is about ammonical brine or what is ammonical brine we know ammonical brine is a mixture of brine and ammonia that is it is concentrated concentrated sodium chloride and ammonia or a mixture of ammonia and concentrated sodium chloride or brine gives us ammonical brine. Next, ammonical brine reacts with carbon 4 oxide to form a mixture of two salts which produce Q. Write an equation to show the formation of Q. Remember, if we have ammonical brine, that is concentrated sodium chloride plus ammonia gas plus ammonical brine. It is reacting with carbon 4 oxide plus, of course, water, which is a liquid, to produce what we call ammonium chloride plus what we call sodium hydrogen carbonate. Remember, sodium hydrogen carbonate is a solid. Ammonium chloride is in solution form and therefore aqueous. One being in solution and another one being a solid, the two are separated using filtration method. So Roman 3, name two processes that can be used to separate Q into ammonium chloride and P. Remember P is sodium hydrogen carbonate, which is going this way. So sodium hydrogen carbonate and ammonium chloride are separated by, number one, we use filtration. And of course, number two, since sodium hydrogen carbonate has to crystallize for it to be separated from a solution of ammonium chloride we use what we call fractional crystallization that is we use fractional crystallization because one has to crystallize Next, give two uses of sodium carbonate produced in solvay process. We have already discussed this particular flowchart before. We said number one, sodium carbonate can be used to soften water. Used in softening water. Number two, it can be used to manufacture. Used to manufacture glass used to manufacture glass among other uses. 
Name the substance that reacts with water that comes into the slaker. Remember, we have the slaker here. And this is the kiln. Usually, in the kiln, we have the decomposition of calcium carbonate. And calcium carbonate decomposes into calcium oxide and carbon 4 oxide. The carbon 4 oxide is what we can see moving up here. This is carbon 4 oxide going to the solvate tower. Then, of course, the calcium oxide gets into the slaker where it is reacted with water to form select lime or simply calcium hydroxide. So, what is the question asking? Name the substance that reacts with water that comes into the slaker. That is quick lime. We call it quick lime or simply calcium oxide. Next, what happens at the kiln? We know this is where calcium carbonate is decomposed to produce carbon for oxide and calcium oxide. But remember, our main interest is to get carbon for oxide. So we can say one, that is decomposition. Decomposition of calcium carbonate to produce carbon for oxide then of course we have carbon or a coke so we have burning of carbon to produce carbon for oxide which is one of the raw materials in the industrial manufacture of sodium carbonate the next question which is part d Write an equation for the reaction that occurs when P is heated to form solid sodium carbonate. We have already identified our P as sodium hydrogen carbonate. And uh, sodium hydrogen carbonate, a solid, is heated or roasted to produce sodium carbonate, which is a solid plus of course carbon for oxide remember anytime you heat a carbonate carbon for oxide is one of the products and because of hydrogen we have water which is a liquid to balance the equation we write two behind sodium hydrogen carbonate and the equation becomes automatically balanced next question that we have the next question that we have reads Name two substances that are recycled in this process. Number one, we have ammonia gas. Number two, we have carbon for oxide. Those are the two main raw materials which are recycled in solvay process so if we can go up and check or left out you can be told to write for example the equation for the reaction that happens at this point where we have the slaker we have calcium oxide plus water to give us calcium hydroxide which is aqueous and that is what we have here and this calcium hydroxide will react with ammonium chloride calcium hydroxide will react with ammonium chloride to give us calcium chloride which is one of the products that is never recycled in this process it will give us ammonia gas and of course water water remains in the system as calcium chloride gets out of the system as one of the substances that is never recycled then ammonia produced again goes up and mixes with brine and uh, the process continues as start so this is a very very easy flowchart
Thank you for watching and welcome to our channel.